Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking with you about how you can create your free custom domain email address with Zoho. Now, uh, when you uh, come to this page, you will see different different uh, price options. So if you want to go with these options, then it's well and good. The Zoho.com provide a very decent services. Then you definitely should choose these offers and plans as listed here. They are also giving a 15 days free trial for a mail premium plan and even you do not need to enter credit card detail. Now but in this video we will be checking forever free plan. So here are some features of a free plan like they are giving you up to 5 users and you will have 5 GB of space which in a case of startup maybe that, that's good enough but again this will come with some limitation for example you can attach a maximum file size of 25 MB, which is again quite common because Gmail also provides the same uh, attachment limit of 25 MB. But the benefit here you are getting is your domain name. For example, the domain name is example.com. So you can create an ID of contact at the rate example.com instead of contact at the rate gmail.com. So this is uh, the plus point of it. Now here it's a web access only but I believe we can still configure with uh, Outlook client or maybe Gmail client. So we will see this uh, in our later part like how you can configure it. So let's get started. Now uh, we need to click on sign up. After you click on sign up you need to provide your details. So I will be entering my domain. So you need to enter your one. After that, click on add. Now fill your details. Select your country and your contact email. Now, after filling all the details, you need to click on sign up. After you provide the detail, it will send the verification code to your register number. Then you need to provide the OTP. After successfully verifying your phone number, you will be redirected to this page and now you require to verify your domain. Now in my case, uh, I have uh, registered with GoDaddy. So I require to add this particular TST record to my GoDaddy. But the problem with me is my website is actually hosted in Google Cloud. So maybe this will not work. So I will use HTML method. So I'm going to download this uh, verify for zoho.html. Now I will go to my website and will add this plugin so that I can upload the file here, file manager. Now I require to upload this file to WP content. Let me just copy this downloaded file. So I require to create a folder here, Zoho verify. So I will be creating one folder. By clicking here and I'm gonna give it a name Zoho verify and after that I will be I will be pasting this file here now let me just verify it and here we go so we have successfully verified it with by uploading this html file and i'm gonna click on verify by html and we have successfully verified our domain now i can create my account if i want to add user i can add user as well but as of now i don't want to 
but if you want to you just can click on proceed to add user and then uh, you will able to add uh, further more user just you need to fill all these details and that's all so i'm going to back to setup now uh, you can create groups as well but here again uh, I'm, I'm not uh, interested in creating group so you can create different group for example different different department you can have so uh, again you can fill these details and even you can uh, define the moderator so again i will go back to setup now i need to configure this email so i'm using google i will be configuring all these in google so in order to configure mail in google cloud you need to type here cloud dns And now I will be selecting this uh, my domain and here I will be adding MX record and here as we can see uh, I require to select the MX and here I need to add at the rate and select MX and let me just make it one minute and here I will be entering 10 and then space and then this value again item add item copy and paste again mx3 this is 50 and paste now I will be clicking on create. Now here you can see I have uh, added these MX records. You can even uh, search for how you can configure the MX record with other hosting provider. For example, GoDaddy, Bluehost. This is the way how you can do it with them. After doing that, uh, you need to click on next. Now again, uh, you need to add this particular record as well. So it is again uh, pretty easy. This need to be txt uh, record and that the value need to be this one. So uh, I will be doing the same. So let's go back to Google Cloud. And I will add one more record set. And let's make it uh, blank and txt. You can either left, leave it blank or you can type at the rate or you can type your domain name. So I'm going to uh, type here at the rate and again txt and ttl5 no one minute is enough. So I'm going to select one minute and here the txt data would be this one. So let me just add the txt data inside the codes and click on create. So in this way I have created this txt data as well. Now we will be proceeding to uh, configure DKIM. So here we require to enable it. So let's just go back and here I'm going to add selector and let me just type Zoho and click on save. Now again same thing I will be copying this uh, txt record name and again i will add one more record set and i will give it the name the same and here again i will be selecting txt let's make it one again i need to paste it inside the quotes and create 
So now you can see we have successfully created uh, our TXT record for DKIM as well. Now I will be clicking on verify. So here we can see it will take around 30 to 45 minutes uh, for the change to propagate. So I will be going on back to setup. But we have already completed this step as well. Now email migration. So you can migrate your email. But uh, in my case I do not need to. But uh, if you want to then uh, you can do this uh, from here as well. But let's go, just go back. And now mobile access. So here what we have actually we can download their uh, mobile app. So this app is available for Android as well as for iOS. So you can download it and install it and use it. So here we can see we have completed all the steps that was required to make uh, our newly created uh, email ready. Now I believe we can send and receive our emails. So let's go back to mail address and let me just create one email and I will try to send it to myself to my Gmail ID. So I'm going to click on here a new email and let me just type my mail ID. And let me see whether I'm going to receive it or not. So this was test. Um, let me just check it. So here you can see I have successfully received an email from Zoho. And let me reply text successful. And let's hope that I will be able to receive the email from Gmail as well. Actually, I realize we may not able to receive email instantly and we may need to wait for at least 12 hours to 24 hours and afterwards you may able to receive email despite you can send email to anyone instantly but we need to wait for 24 hours so that we can receive email. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any problem regarding this process then do let me know in comment down below. And I will try to help you as soon as possible. Till then, bye-bye.